In this video, we are going over how to improve your ball control in 15 minutes. And to do this, I'm giving you a routine you can do in 15 minutes or less. But if you do this routine consistently, I promise you that your ball control, uh, feel for the ball and first touch will improve. Now, just as a little kind of disclaimer, in order to do these, you will need a rebounder, a wall or a partner. I am using a rebounder in the video, but you can do everything I'm doing with a a wall or with a partner let's get right into the routine so after you have warmed up I want you to do some juggling really quickly don't worry we're not gonna do too much I just want you to do a hundred juggles basically on your toes alternating feet and then you'll go with your right foot and then your left foot I'm not gonna do a hundred here to save time but do a hundred and I typically will do a hundred alternating feet then you will move to your right foot where you will do 25 on your right foot only staying on your toes hopping basically on your left foot after you've done that you will switch it over over to your left foot and do exactly the same thing it's good to get a little bit of juggling in each day so you're just kind of brushing up on it so next you will need your rebounder wall or partner and you're going to do 25 inside touches against the wall the rebounder or with your partner you can so you can see I'm pretty close to the rebounder here using the inside of my right foot to hit it back against the rebounder if you make a mistake um, no matter what you're using it's fine just keep going then I'm gonna do 25 with my left foot even if your left foot's weak or whatever your weak foot is I want you to do 25 make sure they're good ones and remember, if you make a mistake, it's fine. Just start counting again from wherever you left off. Okay, so in a moment, we're going to switch now to doing alternating left foot and right foot. So one with your right and then one with your left equals one rep. And you're going to do 25 once again. Get a nice little rhythm going like I do here. Again, this against the wall may be a bit harder. Um, but, you know, just it doesn't matter. The increased challenge is only going to make you better. With a partner, you can just have your partner throw it to you. Use your right. They throw it to you again. Then use your left and just keep going until you've done it 25 times. So you're going to do this that many times. Really keep your focus here. Make sure there are good touches. You can see that each one of my touches is pretty good. Now you are going to do the exact same thing with the top of your foot. So you want to flex your foot a little bit downwards like you were going to volley the ball um, to shoot. And you are going to do 25 with your right foot against the rebounder. Now this might be a little more difficult because you have to hit it um, pretty sweetly and on the center of your foot. Um, but just keep going 25 each foot. So then you're going to switch to your left foot or whichever foot um, you didn't do for the first 25. And again, 25 against the rebounder with your partner or against the wall um, again if you can't do it all the way through without making a mistake that's fine just keep going then again you're going to alternate now it's right left right left and you're just going to keep doing this for 25 reps remember using your right foot once and then your left foot once counts as one rep so you're going to do that 25 times so in all it's actually 50 reps 25 with your left 25 with your right again focus on good touches focus on hitting it back against the rebounder or wall um, with enough power to get it back to you and we're going to do that 25 times Okay, now we're going to move on to some inside of the foot control. Now, well, how I want you to control this is just before it bounces, as you can see I'm doing here. So as it bounces, then controlling it. This is a little more difficult than just taking it right out of the air, but it gets it to your feet almost right away. So this is the kind I'm practicing. If you want to practice just taking it out of the air um, or controlling it while it's in the air, that's absolutely up to you. But this is the kind I like to practice um, just because it gets it down to my feet quicker. Uh, so you're going to do 10 really good ones with the inside of your foot so some of these I probably wouldn't count I only count the ones that um, go in the direction or in the distance I want them to go so I'll count 10 really really good reps um, if a rep is a little bit off I won't count it unless it's getting ridiculous um, usually I only will count a rep that's really good now if you want to just do good reps and count those you can just do more reps you don't have to do only 10 that's entirely up for you up to you but you want to make sure that you're only counting good reps. If you start counting bad reps, um, you're kind of rewarding yourself for doing it poorly. So make sure you're bringing the ball under control, hitting it back against the rebounder, the wall, or having your uh, friend kind of ping you the ball or play the ball so you can do this. And again, you're going to do this at least 10 times. 
naturally you're going to move on to the left side now as well or whatever side you didn't start with again you need to make sure you're working on your weak foot the left foot is my weak foot technically so i work on it just as much as my right foot for the most part um, because i know it's going to be uh, just as needed in matches and it's going to give me an edge if i can use both of my feet especially when it comes to things like this guys when it comes to ball control um, you definitely want to make sure you're good with both of your feet because there are going to be times when the ball comes to your weak side quickly and you're not going to have time to adjust and get your dominant foot over there so you're going to need to be effective at controlling the ball with your weak foot maybe you'll be better at controlling the ball with your dominant foot but at least get your weak side to a level where you're competent at controlling it or else you're just going to struggle Now we're moving on to the outside of the foot to control it. Again, you can kind of see I'm doing it on the bounce here. I'm not taking it um, or controlling it in the air. I'm waiting for it to just before it bounces pretty much to hit it or just as it bounces. And this is how I recommend you practice this. Again, you don't need to do it this way if you want to practice doing it out of the air. That's absolutely fine. I just find it more beneficial to work on this um, because it gets it again down to my feet very quickly, which allows me to then shoot, pass, cross, or do whatever it is I'm going to do next okay so again you're going to be doing 10 good ones with your right foot and again i want these to be really really good ones if you want to do more reps do more reps um but just make sure you're counting good reps don't count bad reps don't even count average reps that you're like yeah that was okay count the reps where you did exactly as you wanted to do where you touched the ball exactly how you envisioned it so after that, you're going to move to your left foot naturally or whichever foot you didn't start with. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to do it 10 really good ones on this side. Again, you can do more if you want. Just make sure you're only counting um, those good ones. So there was a right footed one in there for some reason. Not sure how that got in there. But anyway, keep it up with that. Again, weak side, make sure you're working on it. You want to work on the inside and outside of your weak side as well. And the top of your foot, which we'll get to in a moment. So like I alluded to, now you're going to use the top of your foot to control the ball. So for this one, obviously you will control it before it hits the ground. You're not going to do this one on the bounce. I want you to kind of stop the ball dead or cushion it in front of you. Uh, take it out of the air, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, it is rolling a little like kind of towards me sometimes because I'm on a slant. So I'm on a hill that's going downwards. So that's not really preventable. But what you want to do is just kind of stop it in front of you so that you can get your pass off and just really kind of take the momentum out of the ball. Now, this is something you're going to find yourself needing to do a lot in matches. Um, I really love top of the foot control. I think it's one of the best whenever the ball is like coming over my shoulder um, or I want to just stop it dead out of the air. I love doing this because I can do it close to the ground. Um, so I recommend, again, that you work on this often. It's very, uh, a very, very useful and important skill in my eyes. And then you're going to move on to your other side again. Um, 10 good ones, 10 ones that you're proud of. That's actually a better way of gauging it. 10 uh, top of the foot control controls that you're actually proud of that you're like oh that was really good that felt really good that felt right remember just count the good ones we're not we don't want to get in the habit of counting bad ones or even average ones you want to hold yourself to high standards so again you're going to be cushioning the ball down taking it out of the air um, in a match uh, you would do this and then hopefully on your second touch be able to almost pass it right away or do whatever else you're going to do and that's what we're working on here getting it to your feet as soon as possible and getting it in front of your feet or wherever it needs to be so you can quickly do whatever else you need to do or what you're going to do next um, the sooner you can do that the sooner you can get it down to your feet um, and within control the better because if you wait too long you limit your options to a certain extent okay so then we're going to move on to the last Last one which I just call air juggling so you're gonna hit the ball up control it with the top of your foot and then keep juggling and you're gonna do this five times on each foot um, so if you mess up it's fine you don't need to do five in a row you'll find you'll see me mess up I think on the fourth one here um, I don't even think I have it on uh, so yeah on this next one I messed up so I just reset and I did two more or three more I can't remember uh, where I just kept going so keep doing this 
Um, this is a much harder form of control, taking it out of the air in this manner. Um, but again, very useful, especially if you're, for example, getting a cross field ball and you need to take it out of the air in good control. Um, this will help with that. Um, or really any ball that's coming out of the air from a distance. So then you're going to move on to your weak side, to your left foot. Just juggle, keep juggling, and then pop it up pretty high. Um, to make this more challenging, just keep going higher and higher. The higher you kick it up, the more challenging it's going to be. Um, so start off low if you're a beginner or just starting out, and then just get it higher and higher as you get better. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching this. This is just a quick 15-minute um, ball control session you can do that will improve your ball control. Um, if you do this session often, I really can guarantee that you will see improvements in your first touch and in your ball control. And every single thing we went over in this video is something that's going to come in handy in matches. Most of these touches and controls are ones you want to uh, become automatic uh, so that you can do them pretty much without thinking. And that comes through repetition and practice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like like this video if you are going to do this routine or you got something out of this please share it as well that helps the channel to grow and the video to get out there to more players please hit that subscribe button if you're new to simply soccer as we release daily soccer tip technique and training videos and i will see you in the next video